All right. Today what we're going to be doing is making an iSpy tutorial. Uh, so let's get started. So iSpy, make sure you have a name and identifier and make sure your language is in Swift and we're using user interface storyboard. So this is a very basic app. Uh, pretty much all we need is a picture, some buttons, some labels, and then you can really take this as far as you want. So you can make different levels. You can have a home screen with different, different levels that you choose. Uh, and then we can segue into those levels. You can put a timer on. You can put a score, uh, scoring system on as well. Um, so I'm just going to show you the basic parts. And if you want to take it further, that's completely up to you. So essentially what we're going to start with here is we're going to go to our storyboard. And really what you need to start with is an image view or your, your background. So uh, the first thing you should probably do is hop into Google here. And I typed in I spy background and you can see plenty of pictures pop up that we can use for our game. I'm just going to choose this first one here. So we're going to save this. Put your assets and upload this photo. All right, hopping back into the main dot storyboard. And if we just change our background, Uh, you know what, I want to use an image view anyway, so let's go here. And make it as big as my screen. Go ahead and put an I spy. Now, uh, what you're going to notice is that we're going to have to change this, the content mode, which is underneath your attributes inspector here, to... Uh, probably aspect fill. All right, so you can kind of mess around with uh, different settings here to see how you want it to look. Um, but we'll just go with aspect fill for now. All right, so now we need to include some buttons and some labels. And actually, what I'm going to do is I want a little bit of room at the bottom here. At the bottom here, this is where my labels are going to appear for things that the user should be looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and change the background to change that to black. Just, I don't know, just because. Go ahead, put in some buttons here. Uh, and then choose your images you're going to be looking for. So we'll put one over this fish. I'm going to hit Control Copy to make another one. We'll make, put one over this uh, Corvette or car. And we'll do this plane. Oops, missed it. All right, I'm going to add in some labels now. There it is. I'm going to change the font to white so I can see it on this black background. And once again, copy and paste. You're going to need as many labels as you have your buttons. Once again, you guys can modify this any way you would like. And I'm actually going to make a label that just says look for so that the users know. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and type in I spy here or some sort of uh, instructions and then the objects you're looking for. All right. 
So if I spy an airplane, a blue fish, and a red car, make sure that there's not other images of airplanes or red cars on there. Otherwise, your user will be quite confused. So I'm going to go into my attributes inspector now. I mean, uh, assistant editor, excuse me. And now I'm just going to hook up these labels as outlets and these buttons as actions. All right. And I'm going to call this like airplane button. We'll call this bluefish button. All right. Remember, my actions go below my view to load. So airplane button. And we'll type in this outlet airplane label. We'll do the rest for the bluefish and red car. All right, so I have all my outlets and all my actions. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually delete the word button. So just be careful that when you delete the word button, you're not deleting the entire button. You're just deleting the word and making sure that your image, your button is still there. All right, and we still have that one there. Okay, so now for my airplane button, something very simple I can do is I can just go, let's see, we'll say airplane label dot is hidden, oh, highlighted, equals true. So now what's going to happen is when I select that airplane, that label would di will disappear, and I no longer have to search for it. It's been checked off, you could, you could say. All right. Our screen is loaded. I'll click on the airplane, and the airplane label disappears. I'm going to show you another option now uh, for uh, clicking on these the rest of the items. We can go into here, and we can also say... Something along the lines of blue fish label dot text equals UI color dot green. So now it's appearing, it will just turn green so the user knows that that object has been select, selected correctly. All right. Oh, what did I do wrong? I may have had a mistake there. Bluefish label dot text color equals UI color green. All right, now let's give it a go. So we click on our bluefish and our blue fish turns green and our airplane disappears. So whichever one you choose, just stay consistent with. So some options now, what you do is we can make, once all of our labels are text color equals UI green, so we'd make a function, all right, check win, and we'd say if red car label dot text color equals UI color green and Bluefish label dot text color equals UI green and airplane label dot text color equals UI color green. Something would happen. So we could have uh, an if uh, in our function along with uh, UI alert that when when everything is is green, an alert pops up that says winner. Uh, you could add a timer and try to get the low score of, of how much time it takes you to find all the pictures. You could put in one massive button in the very background right over the the picture that when you press that button and say you click on the phone that it actually uh, decreases points or decrease or you only have three lives and it could take a life away. Uh, there's so many so many different ways that you can go with this app now. Uh, like I said, have a home screen where it has three to four different levels or how, however many levels you want to make it. And increasingly, increasingly it gets harder. Um, 
So lots of different things that you can do. Uh, and this is just the start. So uh, really basic app, like I said, um, and you guys can go as far as you want with that. All right. Thanks for watching my iSpy tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, uh, or concerns. Bye-bye.